All right, so the second proof here, um, and in this case, we're trying to prove the angle BEA in the same diagram, so that's BEA. Trying to prove the angle BEA is a right angle. So we're going to start out by, again, showing the two triangles. In this case, uh, which are the two triangles? We've got um, ABE and ADE, so these two top corner triangles. So we're going to prove that those two triangles are congruent, and then we'll make the additional leap to showing that these are right angles. So here's how we start by showing the, to show the two triangles are congruent. First, we've got that AB and AD are the same. Those, those are congruent. Um, and uh, that's uh, given to us right from the beginning. We were told that originally. And then we also have that angle BAE, that's right here, is congruent to angle DAE, that's right here. And that's from an earlier proof, right? So you can take something you proved earlier and use it as you know new in information in a new proof. All right. So next we have that um, AE right, is equal to AE, and here we have that shared side thing going on again. This is pretty common. I right. have two triangles butt up against each other; they share a side, and that's a, you know some easy to extract information. You'll also, again, see reflexive property. Reflexive property, sometimes given as a reason for that. Again, reflexive property is just that everything is equal to itself. All right, so now we know that the two triangles are congruent. So we've got triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ADE. And how do we know that? Well... We know that that side is congruent to that side. We know that that side shared, and we have the angle in between them. And this is side congruent to side, angle congruent to angle, and side congruent to side, or side angle side congruence, which we've talked about before. So uh, two sides and an angle that's in between them, matching two sides and an angle in between them with another triangle, that's enough to show the two triangles are congruent. Okay, so now... Uh, we have that angle, uh, let's see, uh, make sure I got this right, BEA, yeah, okay. So we've got that angle BEA equals angle uh, D, oops, E, A. Okay. So those two angles are equal, and those are the two angles here in the middle. And that is by corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And so again, some people may drag this out by saying that the two angles are congruent and then making a separate statement saying that the two angles have equal measures. And they'll we'll know that they have equal measures because um, that's the definition of congruence. So some people, some people will break this down into two separate statements. Um, so now we've got that angle BEA and angle, uh, let's see, DEA are supplementary. And our reason for knowing that is that point E is on side BD. Right? So we know that E is in between B and D, and it's on segment BD. Um, and so therefore, two angles formed there are um, supplementary. Right? It means that they, and there's a big leap there. Technically, it means that they are a linear pair, right? which means the two angles that back-to-back -back form a straight line. And we want, some people would bring in a separate fact and say, well, that means because they're a linear pair, they are supplementary. Right? So some people, again, would bring in an extra reason here and say, well, okay, BEA and DEA, they're on a straight line, um, and therefore... They are a linear pair, and because they're a linear pair, they're supplementary. So extra step there. We're kind of at a bare bones proof here. Okay. Um, so next, we know that they're supplementary, and here's kind of our our the big leap here. Uh, we know because of all this that angle BEA is a right angle. And here they give definition of 
right angle as their reason. And we said, that's like a huge leap, right? So a lot of people would break this down into smaller steps. They'd say that BEA and DEA are supplementary, right? And they'd say, well, that means that they add up to 180 degrees. Right? And that would be definition of supplementary angles. And then they'd say, okay, well, if they add up to 180 and they're the same, then they must both be 90. And then they'd say, and then they would just write something along the lines of like algebra or whatever. So here they make this kind of big leap here. It's going straight from supplementary to BEA being a right angle. But again, you know, really what it's all about is saying, well, okay, they're supplementary, which means they add up to 180. Um, and therefore, uh, and because they're the same, well, the only two numbers that are the same and add up to 180 are 90. So they're each 90 degree angles. Um, so one thing that you got to watch out for here is a lot of people will write the same proof um, but use slightly different steps and they'll go into more or less detail as we go along. So writing a proof is less really about you know the logical reasoning about it I guess and more about presentation or understanding other people's presentation largely uh, because most of the proofs that you'd be asked to write say in a test situation aren't writing your own proof, it's filling in the blank proofs. Kind of figure out what other people are doing and follow from that. Okay. All right, so your job next is to uh, write a similar proof. And you're trying to prove that side uh, AC, that this segment AC, bisects uh, BD. So it's going to be a similar setup. Bisects means that it cuts uh, BD into two equal size pieces. So you're basically trying to prove that ED and EB are the same length. And it's going to be a very similar setup to what you see here.